In this video, I'm gonna share with you why women chase men that don't want them and how you can use this to your advantage. First of all, why are we making this video? It's because women want you to believe that they don't treat other men differently, which is a bunch of nonsense. Women have different categories of men. They treat some men better than they treat you. I was laughing with my editor like not even 10 minutes ago about regular girls dealing with celebrities. Girls that are in Miami that are regular chicks dealing with big name celebrities. Trey Songs, Drake, that I'm seeing on a day to day life. They telling me who they dealing with. They telling me who they, who's in their DMs. So I'm trying to hear, help you understand that if you don't get your mind right and start being the kind of man they look at differently, you're not gonna have a chance. So the first thing that you must do, the first thing that you need to understand about why women chase men and don't want them is that women associate a man not wanting her as her not being attractive. Guys, a woman's ego is tied to her beauty and it's not even women's fault. All a woman's life, she has been told, you're so beautiful, you're this. They're validated from young, even if they're not the most beautiful girl. The ones who are beautiful, oh my Lord, they, they have been validated since the beginning. So when you tell, when, you, when you're not so impressed by her looks, you're making her experience conflict. She's like, hold up, why doesn't he want me? Everybody else wants me. Everybody else tells me how beautiful I am. Why doesn't he? Have I been lied to? Am I not as beautiful? What's going on? Why does this guy, why is he not that invested? Why isn't he so eager to get to know me? And you're now making her experience something that she doesn't really experience often. You're, ex you're introducing something new to her, a new feeling, a new experience. And it makes her go, whoa, I actually want to chase him more. What does he have that I don't know about that makes him not so impressed by me? Why do all these guys beg me to go out? I beg to hang out. They're willing to pay for me, do all this stuff. And this guy just acting like I'm a regular human being. That's because her looks are tied to her ego. Her whole personality is tied to everything. Her whole personality is tied to how beautiful she thinks she is and how, how validated she is by certain men. So when you don't want her, you're giving her conflict that she needs to resolve. She's like, wait, 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 wait. I gotta resolve this. What the hell is going on? Why don't you want me? Why aren't you so interested in me? Let me figure this out. Number two, women love being the center of attention. Whenever a woman is in an area, She's always being mindful of how she's being treated subconsciously, non-verbally. Like how do people react to her? This is why women spend hours and hours on makeup. Society has made a woman's self-confidence come from external factors. Women are not taught to learn how to love themselves from within. They're taught you're beautiful, so you should get this. So when a man who is high value is like, I'm not that impressed, she starts to lose her mind. She's like, hold the hell up, what's going on here? All right, she loves to be the center of attention. When you're not giving her that attention, whoo, she starts to be feeling, she starts to, what's going on here? What's, what's, what's the problem? This is why as a man, you need to be very, very conscious of how you're performing and how you're acting in public because very subtle things can give it away that you're interested in a girl. I've, I've said this before in the past. I've had clients of mine, when I was a personal trainer, literally be gawking at girls. And I'm like, bro, you look stupid doing this shit. She now puts you in a category of a fucking loser. That does not make you look high value. I don't give a fuck how beautiful a girl is. You never get caught staring at her. You never get caught gawking at her. You act like she's a regular human being because you create conflict. You take that attention away from her. A girl could walk in the room and you breaking your neck and that's all she need. That's all the validation she need. She doesn't need much. She doesn't need you to tell her how beautiful she is. She doesn't even care if you approach her by you breaking your neck, by you staring, you giving her all the attention. When she walks in the room and she sees all these guys, damn baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. And this one dude, he just like minding his business. She's like, why isn't he giving me attention? Why isn't he staring at me? What's different about him? She's, she's so obsessed and so addicted to chasing. Women love to chase. Women love to chase more than we do. We just have to chase. We don't get our options by just existing. So we, we, we naturally have to pursue and chase. Women actually enjoy chasing men. They get a thrill from, from desiring and trying to get you to give her attention. That's why they're so in love with attention. Number three. A man who doesn't want her 
can obviously do better. That's exactly what a woman thinks. Imagine the girl who's been told she's be she's beautiful all her life, right? And then all of a sudden, she's like talking to this dude or she's trying, she's interacting with this guy and he's not that impressed. She's like, hold up. You obviously can do better than me. Show me this damn girl that you got that looks better than me. She starts to get curious. This is why you hear girls say, oh, you must got all the girls, huh? You look like a player. That's, you, that's her telling you, I think you could do better than me. I don't want to compete because you probably got girls that look better than me. Women know when other women are beautiful. They're not stupid. So a man who's not chasing her, a man who's not begging her, a man who isn't so pressed, in her mind, she's like, damn, he obviously could do better. I know I might be beautiful, but there's, I know there's more beautiful women than me. He must got her. He must have a girl that look better than me. So now that's a reflection of her. Now she's thinking, well, obviously I'm not the most beautiful girl in the world. No matter how many times my dad told me, my uncles told me, my mom told me, obviously this guy doesn't think so. Why not? Who is this girl he's with? Who is, who is this girl that he has? How did he get her? How did he get a girl more beautiful than me? That's, that's what's going through her mind on a subconscious level when a man isn't chasing her, when a man isn't begging her. How do you use this to your advantage? I got a couple of strategies for you guys. The one thing I want you guys to start doing, every single one of y'all, I want y'all to start going to gyms with baddies so you get comfortable being around beautiful girls. I've said this before, guys. This is the one thing that I believe helped me so much with my game. When I was in Columbia, guys, for the last three or four years, the gyms I went to, man, were full of IG models. Baddies. I'm talking about I would be in the gym and you would count 12 dimes. Like, what the fuck is, why is there so many hot chicks? I got calluses to that, meaning it became a normal thing for me. What did that do? Why is that so important? I started to get comfortable being around girls I thought were really beautiful. I started to treat them like regular people. And immediately that improved the quality I got in women. Immediately that made me more confident around girls. Cause I'm like, I'm around baddies every day. Doesn't change how I act. I'm not treating you better. Oh, you look good, congrats. She looks good too. I don't gotta go that far to meet another hot girl. Craziness. So that's a hack. Every single one of you guys. I'm going to a gym right now that is full of grandpas and grandmas. I can't wait to leave. But you need to make sure that the gym you're going to, guys, every you're not going to the gym to talk to girls. Let me make this clear. When I say go to a gym with baddies, I don't mean, oh yeah, oh wow, fit, give us the green light. I'm about to approach everybody in my gym. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're gonna put yourself around beautiful women so you get comfortable with your mannerisms, you get comfortable operating without being a thirsty man. If you can go to the gym every day, you work out, mind your business, you see them looking at you, you're gonna start to get confidence. Maybe you have a couple conversations here and there just being polite, but you don't get too excited, you don't get, when you when you are with a beautiful girl that's not in your gym, you're gonna be like, I see hot girls every day. I'm not that impressed with you. Yeah, you look good, but what else? It's going to tremendously improve again. I attest that as being one of the, the things that helped me so much. So start going to a gym where you see a lot of hot girls every single day. Get comfortable, get comfortable being around beautiful women so it doesn't excite you, it doesn't phase you, so you can operate like a normal human being and you can treat them like a normal human being. If you treat them like a normal human being, they're going to chase you. Number five, always downplay her looks so she respects you. The moment you act like a simp, guess what you get treated as a simp the moment you act like a loser guess what you get treated as a loser women are not forgiving guys the moment she puts you in a category you have to fight uphill to get out that category women are savages guys that's why i'm like you don't want to make the wrong impression the moment she makes the moment her first impression of you is bad it's over you want to make sure that that first impression is curious curiosity you want her to be curious rather than, wow, there's this girl at my gym, right? I think I've told y'all this story before. There's one girl, bro. This chick here, I I've talked about her so much that I actually saw her in person with my editor and he was like, bro, you, this girl's famous. She hasn't been going to the gym for a while. This chick, she's an okay looking, well, she's cute. But in terms of Colombian standards, she's all right. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? You see my, 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 you see my mentality? I'm, I was so used to being around baddies that I'm like, you okay, <laughs> you're nothing, nothing great. But she wanted my validation so much. Every guy in the gym, this is the current gym I'm going to right now, always conversating with her. I've seen her get approached so many times, but this girl is fighting for her life to get me to validate her. Fighting, I'm talking about, I don't think she goes to the gym 
for anything else when she does come to the gym but to see how much attention can she get from me today if i it's so funny that i laugh at her I mean, it's so funny i'm like girl i'm never gonna approach you i'm never gonna talk to you this is hilarious but what i have done is i have subconsciously downplayed her look so bad that it's affecting her like she needs the validation this girl will come and sit next to me and work out be staring at me be looking at me be giving me the eye i'm just laughing like oh my god i'm not gonna validate you i'm not gonna come up here and say hey what's up what's your name i want to get your number i'm gonna laugh at you because i've downplayed her looks it don't mean that much to me i've been around i've been approached by girls way hotter <laughs> so i'm like you okay baby but that's the beautiful thing about making yourself compatible with a lot of women so you understand that there are plenty of beautiful girls in this world man i'm telling y'all man i'm spoiled bro from colombia to miami miami is 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 decent but it ain't no fucking colombia in terms of looks let's just let's, let's cut the bullshit so i'm just like yeah i'm chilling i've seen it i've seen girls who are way better than you and even if you're hot i'm like there's another girl who's just as hot as you or hotter downplaying a woman's looks guys makes her want you so bad this chick i wish i could have a video recorder with me in the gym i'm like you want to fuck right here i'm like you want to you want to fuck i'm like hey baby you trying to we can go like what you want to do you going to just come with me around the gym stare at me the whole workout and go home why she wants that validation she wants me to say hey what's up that's all she wants she wants me to ask her out and i've seen her come in the gym with a dude so she probably got a boyfriend now but it's it's this is what the beauty of not caring about her looks not chasing her not want they go crazy they need it Ooh, i need that dude that doesn't want me it's a chase it's a thrill and lastly don't treat women better just because they're better looking the less you are so stressed and you want a girl right the less you so obsessed about a woman's looks you start to value more than just her looks you're good looking now what what's how's your personality how are you as a person are you a good person do you add to my life do you subtract from my life the whole goal here guys is to be able to attract women that are really good for you not just women who are just attractive but most of you motherfuckers have never been with a girl you found attractive that the moment a girl who's halfway decent gives you some ass you ready to marry her the majority of men if a eight and a half gave you some pussy today you're done it's a wrap all your dreams and goals are through the window. You done. Woof. Well, I got me what I wanted. I'm willing to bet money. Eight and a half, nine. Your most men on the planet, they're done. They're packing their bags. I got it. Finally got me a hot chick. I can kick my feet up finally. I don't have to do anything else. And that's how you're going to lose her. Because you didn't better. Her being beautiful was just enough for you. You didn't check her personality. You didn't see what she brought to the table. You didn't see if she like had any substance you like looks are just so important to you that you overlook all the bad shit and then you wonder why these women don't respect you a woman is always going to want a man that doesn't really want her she wants to accomplish being with a man that can do better than her he wants she wants a man that has more status than her so stop prioritizing a woman's looks stop treating her like she's the end all be all make her bring more to the table and you will get women actually chasing you all right guys and that's it man like comment subscribe share the video i'll get back with you guys next time